Good morning, welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. I'm Kath, my channel is made by Cathcraft, and this is my first time doing Vlogmas and I can't believe we have got to day 23 already. The days have really flown by and I'm a little bit sad that it's gonna be ending tomorrow. So I've got today, day 23, and then tomorrow, day 24 left. And I'm really gonna enjoy those two days um, like I have the whole of Vlogmas. I started off a little bit nervous, as you'll know if you saw my early videos, and I wasn't sure how it would go and if I'd have things to talk about and that sort of thing. But actually, I've really enjoyed every minute, and I've loved um, I'm chatting with you guys in the comments, and I've really enjoyed sharing all the Christmassy bits we do here in my family in the run-up to Christmas, and also, of course, talking some sewing too. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been a lovely time. And yeah, I'll be sad when it ends tomorrow, but we have got two more days to go. So I'm on this morning, and it's just about nine o'clock in the morning. So it's day 23, and it's Thursday. I'm losing track of days a little bit now. Um, but yeah, it's just past nine o'clock in the morning, and I am dressed. I think it's the earliest I've been dressed this this week actually and my husband and children are still getting dressed upstairs so I thought I'd pop downstairs and um, catch up with you guys before they're down while it's a bit peaceful down here and share what Elf has been up to in the night and what I'm wearing and share my finished heavier jacket and my plans for the day too. So first of all, what Elf was up to in the night, well Elf decided to set up a lit little spa or beauty salon and I'll put a picture up so you can see and he invited a few of my daughter's dolls along to join in. So you can see there's a little doll having a little relax in the bath and there are a couple of dolls having their hair done and Elf put some clips in. So my daughter was really tickled to find this and she thought it was really funny that Elf was indulging his sort of inner beauty spa side. And she's been playing with that um, little setup quite a lot this morning. She's introduced a few more characters, including a little cat bauble she got from the garden centre yesterday. That little cat's joined in. So I think that little setup will provide some more opportunity for her to play today. So yeah, she was really pleased that Elf had set that up and um, pampered her dolls. So that's what Elf was up to. And then in terms of what I'm wearing today... Well, I'm wearing a dress pattern that I'm surprised I haven't worn yet in December. I had to look back over my Vlogmas videos and I was surprised I hadn't worn this pattern yet because it's a pattern I often reach for and it's one I find really comfy and easy to wear. And it's this dress pattern here. It is the Cassiope dress by I Am Patterns. It's a really nice woven dress pattern. It's quite a simple sew. It's a raglan sleeved woven dress and it's got this cool sort of bat wing feature, which is a bit different, I think. And it's got quite a simple gathered skirt. And I really like this pattern. It's quite oversized. It's kind of relaxed mock dress style. And I've made, I think I've made four versions now. I've made one in a viscose twill, one in a viscose lawn, one in a viscose shelly, and then this one here is a bit different. I made this one in a needle cord fabric. It's quite a fine, almost baby cord fabric. And this really pretty sort of bottle green colour. And I got this from Minerva. They have a really nice soft range of baby cord fabrics. I've used a couple of the different colours. I'll link them down below. It's really comfy to wear and quite snuggly because it's um, kind of, yeah, corduroy fabric. And um, I the Cassiope dress is for a simple um, back without buttons. But they have a few really cool hacks on their website that are just for free. And one of the hacks is the button down back. And I've made that hack. And I'll turn around and show you the button down back in a moment. I really like a button down back. I think it adds a bit of an extra something to a dress. And I quite enjoy sewing it too. I think there's also a few other hacks. I think you can make a short sleeve version or a version with an exposed um, frill around the sort of um, skirt seam. There might be also a version to change it to a jersey fabric. So I think you can make it in jersey too with a slightly different neckband. But yeah, it's a really lovely pattern. Um, and I love this kind of colour of this um, sort of bottle green um, corduroy. And I'll turn around and show you the back now so you can see that. Hopefully you saw that okay. Um, I've added on sort of um, bottle green coloured buttons to match the fabric. I decided to go for something to kind of blend in rather than a feature button. And I made a couple of changes in the construction of this version. It, the pattern is made using a facing around the neckline, but for this version, I decided to use bias binding instead because I prefer that finish. And I thought particularly with a slightly sturdier fabric like a corduroy, I think that, thought that would give a better, less bulky finish. So I used bias binding, as you can see. And this bias binding is a really lovely Liberty fabric. This was an off-cut left over from a Bakerloo blouse I made in this fabric quite a while ago. It's really pretty. And I also use that fabric for the pockets, so I'll show you one of the pockets. So I really like those little 
sort of flashes of Liberty fabric that only I know they're there. And the other change I made other than adding bias binding around the neckline was to add the pockets because the pattern doesn't come with pockets. So I'd added those on because they're always handy. And then also when I was finishing the um, button down back, I finished that um, with a kind of more bias binding style method too, rather than a sort of facing around the back. So I really like how it's finished on the inside and it's a really comfy one to wear. And in terms of sizing, I've got the paper pattern of the I Am Cassiope and it goes from a U European size 36 to 46. But there's actually a slightly wider size range on their website if you download the PDF. And that takes you from a European 34 to a European 52. And the largest size, the 52, is for bust um, 45 inches, waist 37 inches and hips 47 and a quarter inches. And in terms of the sizing I make, well, the smallest size in the pattern I've got is the 36. And that is for a um, bust of 32 and a quarter inches, waist of 24 and a half inches and hips of 34 and five eighths inches. So that's my bust measurement, but the waist and hips are slightly smaller, but there's loads of room in this dress. I'll, I'll stand up so you can see. It's really oversized. The finished garment measurements must be a lot bigger. So I think this is one you can definitely size down on without any trouble at all. I think if I had the actual PDF version, I'd have probably even sized down to a 34. But actually, I like how it hangs in this um, in this size. And I do like that it's a bit oversized and relaxed. So I'll put a picture up of me wearing it. I think it's a nice wintry, Christmassy colour and quite a simple, easy dress to wear. So that's what I'm wearing today. So next, I thought I'd show you my finished Hovia jacket. So if you saw my yesterday's vlog, day 22, you'll know that I'd pretty much sewn it all and done all the sewing machine bits. And the only bit left to do was hand stitch around the neckband on the inside. And I did that last night. The Great British Sewing Bee Christmas special was on. So I watched that and that was really lovely to watch that. Really enjoyed it. And I did some hand sewing at the same time. And I found it really relaxing, actually. It's funny because when I started sewing, um, when I was early to making clothes, I really was not keen on hand sewing. I kind of was so impatient to finish garments quickly. I was so excited about being able to make my own clothes. I didn't want to sort of what I felt like wasting time and um, doing something slow and more sort of a meticulous but actually nowadays I really enjoy that part of the process and I don't want to rush making things anymore so I really enjoy taking the time to hand sew and doing it quite slowly and carefully but anyway so I'll show you how my jacket's finished so here it is um so yeah I'm really pleased how it's turned out it's really squishy and comfy it's got these lovely big sort of slanted pockets it's got a little um hanging loop where is it it's hard to see even because it so blends in so well that little hanging loop in the liberty lining fabric and it's all hand sewn around the inside so you can see that's what i did last night so it's all sewn in place so yeah it's all completed now and i've turned up the cuffs a little bit so you get a little pop of the liberty lining um in the turned up cuffs and i can't wait to wear this one it's a shame it's a bit too cold to wear it outside at the moment um, but i can't wait to wear it when the weather does improve a little bit and I'm going to try and get some pictures in the meantime over Christmas of it so I can, um, yeah, share it in my next makes video and show you how it looks on style with maybe a pair of jeans and a t-shirt or something like that. So I'm really pleased to have finished my Hovia jacket um, before Christmas and so I could show you guys as part of Vlogmas. But that's that. So in terms of our plan for today, we've got a few little bits and bobs planned. Firstly, at lunchtime, our Christmas food shop should be arriving. So it'll be really good to have everything we need in stock for Saturday. And I think my children might enjoy helping to unpack that one because there should be some nice treat foods in there that they'll probably enjoy helping to organise. So that should be good. And this morning, we're going to hopefully pop out and deliver one last present. It's a present for one of my daughter's friends and she just lives up the road. So it's only about a five minute scoot. So we're going to head up there. They know we're coming. We'll probably stop for a little chat and we're going to leave my husband at home so he can get on with any last minute Christmas bits he wants to get on with, like wrapping or anything like that. And it'll be nice to get out of the house. It is really cold out there and it was really cold overnight. But I think it'll be good to bundle up and just get a bit of fresh air. So that's our plan this morning. And also my husband is hoping my children will help him make the brandy butter. They were planning to make it last night, but everyone was a bit tired. So they decided to leave it till today. And my husband doesn't often do cooking with the children or sort of kitchen things. So I think he's quite looking forward to doing that and hoping they'll both want to help him. So that's our plan for the moment. Oh, and also I'm hoping my parcel will arrive. It's, it does say it's due to arrive. I've had some text message updates. It's a fabric parcel and when I ordered it a couple of days ago, I didn't know if it would come before Christmas or not, but I got it in a online fabric shop sale. The fabric shop is Lily and Mimi Fabric Shop and I think they're moving their premises in the new year and so they wanted to kind of um, clear some fabrics out so I think they had 20% off and I was having a look on the website and saw two fabric I just couldn't resist. So I've got those arriving and I'm really excited about those too. So I'm going to be watching out the window for the postman today and when they arrive, I'll pop back on and show you those. 
Oh, and the other thing I'm quite looking forward to doing today is hopefully a little bit more of the Christmas puzzle. And if you've seen some of my previous days of Vlogmas, you'll know that my husband and my son and I have been working on the Christmas puzzle little bit by little bit, and we're making really good progress. So I'll hopefully pop on and show you how we're getting on with that later too. But I think I can think I can hear my family have arrived downstairs now, and I know my husband wants to get on with the brandy butter. So I'll probably draw this to a close now because once he starts doing that, it'll get quite loud with a blender. So I'll leave you here and I'll pop on a little bit later to share with you how we're getting on. So I'll see you a bit later. Bye. <laughs> It's early afternoon now and we've just finished lunch and we've had a good morning. Our Christmas food shop arrived, so that was good. And we had a nice walk across to drop the present off. We happened to bump into a couple of people we know on the way as well. So that was nice to have a Christmassy chat to them too. And it was good to get out of the house. It is a very grey day out there today. So also this morning my fabric parcel arrived. Hooray! So I thought I'd pop on now while my family are just finishing their lunches and show you what arrived. And it was two fabrics from Lily and Mimi Fabric Shop that I got with a 20% off offer that's on at the moment. And I'll link them down below in case you fancy checking them out. They have a really nice selection of jersey fabrics particularly. And the two fabrics I got are both French terry fabrics. And the first one I've got to make a jumper for my husband. And it's another Christmassy fabric for another Christmas jumper. He's got one Christmas jumper I made him a couple of years ago now and he really enjoys wearing it at Christmas time and what he particularly likes about it is because it's French terry it's quite lightweight so he doesn't overheat in it so I've been looking for some nice fabric to make him a second one and I showed him this fabric and he really liked it so I ordered that and this is the fabric here. It's this really cute um, French terry with a red base and it says ho 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 all over it with some snowflakes too so I think that'll make a really fun Christmas jumper for him and he's quite pleased with that. And the pattern I'm going to use is the same pattern I used to make the first Christmas jumper. It's the only men's um, sweatshirt pattern I have um, and because I don't really need to buy another one if it works. Um, and it's this one here. It is the Apollon sweatshirt for men by I Am Patterns. And there's a female version of this too that is very similar but also has a sweater dress option. But it's the men's version and it comes in sizes extra small to extra extra large. And I think the largest size is, let me have a look, for... Um, chest 43 and 3 eighths, waist 38 and a half, hips 44 inches. And I can't remember which size I make my husband, but it was pretty much the size he is. We measured him and it's bang on. It's just a nice, simple sweatshirt for men. Um, I figure I only need, need one sweatshirt of him really because he's not really fussed about having different styles. So that'll be a nice um, make. I don't think I'll make it in time for this Christmas because we've only got today and tomorrow and we've got other plans. But I'll definitely whip that up in the new year so he's got it ready for next year. So I thought that fabric was quite fun. That should be nice to sew with. And it is quite a nice lightweight French terry, so it just shouldn't be too hot for my husband. So that was the first fabric that arrived for him. So that was the fabric I got for my husband. And then I also got one French terry fabric for me that I saw and couldn't resist. And it's another Christmassy print. And I haven't bought many Christmassy fabrics myself, really. So, but this one, just I just really liked it. And I thought it was really pretty, the colours too. So here it is. So it's another French terry, like I said, with a white base and it's got lots of Christmas sort of spices on it, like dried spices. And it's got gingerbread men and little sort of Christmas cookies in different shapes too, like a stocking and little gingerbread house and that sort of thing. And I thought it was really pretty. It's also got sort of what looked like sort of snowballs in the background. I just thought it was really cute and I thought that would make a really nice um, Christmassy jumper or Christmassy sweater dress. So I'm not sure exactly what pattern I'm going to use and what I'm going to make with that one. Again, it's one, not one I'll finish for this Christmas, but it's one I'll enjoy working on to have um, ready to wear for Christmas next year. But I thought while the fabric is on special and because I don't often see Christmassy fabrics I really love, I thought I'd snap that one up too. I think I got um, two metres of this one and one and a half metres of my husband's. Um, I think that's enough for his jumper. I think I need one and a half metres and I thought two metres of this would give me a bit of flexibility to decide what I want to make with it. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. So those are the fabrics that arrived in my fabric parcel today. I'm really glad it arrived before Christmas so I could show you guys. And I'm looking forward to getting them washed and popped in my stash ready to sew at some point in the new year. And while I was on, I thought I'd also mention my son and daughter are both in something handmade today. So I thought I'd show you what they're wearing. You might have seen a little sneak peek of what they're wearing in the brandy butter making video I put in a bit earlier. 
My daughter is wearing another pansy dress, which is one of the favourite patterns I like to sew for her. It's quite a simple jersey dress pattern with a round neckline and little gathered skirt. And she's wearing another version with an extra tier at the bottom for an added ruffle. And the version she's wearing today is in a turquoise base with a large scale unicorn print on. It's a really cool print. She wasn't very keen on posing for photos today, so I thought I'd put in an old photo of her wearing it so you can see what it looks like. But she's just a bit bigger now. It's another one I made last year that she still fits into, which is great. And then my son is wearing um, a, a t-shirt, handmade t-shirt. And I made that using a free pattern, which is the ABB t-shirt. I think it stands for anything but basic kids t-shirt by DIBY Club. Um, you can download if you go on their website, but I'll link it down below. And the t-shirt he's wearing, he was happy to have a little snap, is really a really cool fabric that I got from Minerva a while back. And it's a Where's Wally fabric. And my son really likes the Where's Wally books. He goes through phases where I'll spend ages looking through and trying to find, you know, all the little things like the camera and the key and everything. So yeah, it's a Where's Wally print. So he always likes to wear it. And whenever he's wearing on it with his friends, they always want to find Wally on there and stuff. So it's a really nice, simple t-shirt pattern. I think it's great that it's free. It's quite a simple, straightforward sew. And I think I might have made my son the age he is and it just fits nicely. It's a, I think it's fairly slim fit, but it fits him well. So that's what he's wearing. And then I thought in a moment I would turn the camera around and show you how we're getting on with our Christmas jigsaw puzzle. My son and I have done a little bit more on it this morning. So I thought I'd turn the camera around and show you how we're getting on. So I'll do that now and then I'll catch up with you again a little bit later. Okay, bye. So here is the puzzle. And as you can see, we've done quite a lot now. And my son's just working on it. Now you may have seen his hand popping in there. But yeah, it's coming really nicely actually. So we're hoping we'll finish it before Christmas, but I'll show you. There we are, we've been working on this bit here today which is quite a tricky bit, but it was nice to put that all together. And now we've got mainly the sky to go, haven't we? Oh yeah, and my son's showing you where we're working on now. So yeah, it's been really fun to do that. So I'll turn the camera off now to carry on doing this jigsaw with my fat son and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Bye. Hello, it's late afternoon now and we've had a nice afternoon. We finished the puzzle, which you'll have seen. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of footage of my son and I doing it there. We're really pleased we got to complete that before Christmas and my son really enjoyed putting the last piece in. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to have that to do together. So that was a really fun activity. And then my husband's been out to get a final few bits from the shops. And um, I was reading the children a bit of another Christmassy book we like. We finished Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. And now we've moved on to 101 Dalmatians by Dodie Smith, which is a family favourite. So we've been reading a bit of that. But now my husband's back and we're going to settle down and watch a short pantomime. We haven't booked tickets to go and see a real life pantomime this year because of COVID, but the children do quite enjoy watching one online and then they can come and go as they please a little bit. So that is our plan. So today I thought I'd also try and film the dinner I'm making. Um, it's a homemade dinner and my, it's one of my son's favourites and I thought I'd try and film it so you can see what it looks like and what goes into it. And it is a sort of homemade version of refried beans. So you put into it um, kidney beans and some spices and some tomato puree and you kind of mix it all up and cook it and then mash it to kind of make a refried beans texture. And then we put it on top of tortilla chips and then put a bit of cheese on top and grill it in the oven. And then we usually serve it with some creme fraiche and some vegetables. And we often serve it with guacamole too. I often make the guacamole, but I forgot to add a avocado on the shop. So we don't have that, but it'll still be nice without the guacamole. And my son doesn't eat that but anyway, so he won't miss that. But um, yeah, I'll try and film that. But first I'm going to go and join my family and watch a bit of this panto. So I'll see you a little bit later after we've had dinner. So see you in a little bit. Bye. <laughs>
Hello, we have had our dinner now. It was really tasty and I hope you enjoyed seeing the video of how we make it. And so I've now changed into some loungewear for the evening. So it's getting towards the evening. I've got on, actually everything is um, ready to wear in this outfit. I've got on a zip up hoodie and a pair of snuggly joggers. So it's nice to be in those cozy clothes this evening. And our plan for this evening is my husband has a couple of presents to wrap. So he's going to disappear off and wrap those. And while he does that, I am planning on catching up on the latest episode of And Just Like That, the Sex and the City reboot. So I'm really looking forward to watching that one. And I think I'm going to do some knitting while I watch it, probably knitting my um, black cardigan that I'm working on. That's my plan. And then after that, we are planning on bringing the children's presents down and putting them under the tree. We've already wrapped them. We haven't put them under the tree yet, but we thought if we put them under the tree tonight, then they can sort of enjoy having a look at them um, tomorrow um, in anticipation of Christmas Day and opening them. So that is our plan for the evening. So I'll finish this vlog here and I will see you again, hopefully, for day 24 tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching as ever. I hope you have a lovely day or evening wherever you are and I'll see you tomorrow for day 24. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.